about three months ago, I actually applied for Connexus, and uh, I've heard a lot of good things about the, this credit union for a long time. I had a lot of a lot of good friends who told me great stuff about Connexus. I said, you know what? Why not actually uh, add in to my, my roster of uh, credit unions another one? And you know, the funny thing is, I was very uh, impressed and uh, really, really surprised at how easy it is to join Connexus now. Everybody talks about PenFed. Everybody talks about Navy Fed when it comes to credit unions. But do you know, did you know that Connexus has a constellation of credit cards that are really easy to be to be approved for? So if you find yourself like let's say in a rut and you can't really qualify for a Navy Fed or a PenFed uh, credit card, just apply for Connect Connexus. The cool, the good thing is that Connexus is national, so it doesn't matter whether you live in. Uh, in Oklahoma or New Jersey, or you live in Florida, you live in uh, in Mississippi, you live in Tennessee, you live in uh, in Oregon. Connexus will take care of you. And the thing is that to qualify for membership is very easy. Now, of course, Connexus wants you to be uh, like because they have those uh, what they call like there are some targeted companies. You gotta you have to be an employee, retiree, family member, members, or like they, they have those sort of a, a lot of uh, companies that be. BMW, they have uh, Cincinnati Bell, they have Endura, they have Harley, Harley Owners Group, they have Honeywell, whatever. But see, if you do not qualify for it on the professional side, or you don't live in uh, in Illinois, Minnesota, you don't live in Wisconsin, you know, if you don't live in those states, you can still qualify for a Connexus uh, membership. You know why? All you have to do, you just have to uh, donate five dollars to the Connexus Association, and you're in. Five dollars. That's all. Okay, so you can become a member, opening any account at Connexus. So just uh, actually donate five dollars. That's fine. And the cool thing is that if you don't live near a Connexus branch, you can still become a lender. Because nowadays everything is done via mobile app anyway. So this is kind of cool. So when you think about Connexus, I mean, I was interested in their credit cards because I've heard a lot of uh, great stuff about their credit cards. But besides credit card, credit cards. Connexus offers like deposit accounts. So we're talking about checking accounts, certificate of deposits. You have savings account. They also have a HSAs like health savings account. They have investments. They have money market account, IRAs, and they have, of course, credit cards for individuals and businesses. And I was kind of drawn to, to the individual side of things. I said, you know, I'll look at the business side of, of stuff later on, but I first wanted to uh, test the individual side of, of uh, Connexus. So the thing is that if you want to, uh, one thing I've learned is that if you want to actually uh, get a Connexus credit card and uh, what, based on uh, based on what my team has done as research and based on what I've done personally as research also, Connexus can approve you all the way to $75,000. Did you hear that? $75,000 $75, like everybody thinks about, yeah, you know, if you apply for a credit card at a credit union, you're not getting much. You're just wasting your time. And I'm like, no, no. Because because for me is for me, I mean, I got the card. I didn't get 75k. I got 37k. No, I got 42k. But that's because of uh, of stuff I will explain to you later on. But the first thing I did was I actually uh, know my I know I knew my credit score, and I knew exactly what kind of credit score I had. Because the thing is, if you want to get the card from Connexus right right off the bat, you got to have a clear idea about your credit score. And you got to know exactly what, what it means. Are you in the excellent range? Do you have very good credit? Do you have good credit? Do you have fair credit? Do you have poor credit? And the thing is with Connexus, the, max, the minimum rather is 600. So they'll start looking at your application if you're around 600. So I knew this going into this whole uh, this whole thing. I said, so I said to myself, you know what? I'm going to collect as much intel as possible. Like I have friends already in, uh, in Illinois, Wisconsin, and Minnesota and uh, who were actually members of Connexus. So I ask questions all the time. I was like, listen, please fill me in. Please fill me in, you know, share some intel. And and they, sh they sure, they did share some intel. So I knew a lot of stuff. I knew that, you know, I had, if I had checked my credit score well in advance, that's good. And I also uh, was thinking about like what my needs are. Like I was, I was asking, I was asking myself and uh, my wife from, from time to time, what our needs were, like things like, uh, do I, want to, do I want to carry a balance? Do I want to earn rewards? Do I mind paying an annual fee? 
those are questions you got to ask whether you want to get a credit card at, at uh, Connexus or elsewhere, right? So because that will actually direct your mind into what's, what's really good for you. And uh, so that's really great. And so I started like, you know, doing research about Connexus credit cards and I, and I started paying attention to a, a few things like uh, the annual fee, the APR. I mean, see, but the thing is, when I talk about the APR, that's one of those those things I was really uh, thorough about. I was really, really, really thorough about the APR thing because I'm like, you know what? If I'm applying for a credit union credit card, I don't want to pay the same amount, uh, amount of APR that I would pay in the, at the regular bank because Credit unions are supposed to be cheaper than the regular banks. That's why they are credit unions in the first place. So don't let anybody razzle dazzle me with the uh, lag. You know, it's connections because your risk is high. You know, I'm, I don't have a high risk. You know, I have pretty good financials. And I, I'm like, listen, I just wanted to test the system. And I, so I paid attention to uh, the APR, like the balance transfer intro APR, the purchase uh, APR, the penalty APR, right? And I paid attention to the balance transfer fees, the cash advance the uh, the penalty fees the rewards rate the foreign transactions fees and uh the welcome bonus so from for me at least when i was going into this i wanted to have i wanted to have a credit card but i was paying attention to those fees a lot because i'm like you know what if i effed up one time just one time i mean usually i try to be really disciplined financially speaking but what if one time i just effed up is that going to be a big problem for me like down the road would they would they be slapping a lot of fees on me right now like going forward so i wanted to really be uh be clear about, about that and i also wanted to uh, check for pre-approval the good thing is that connexus does actually uh does allow pre-approval on certain credit cards and now they don't have a, a dedicated web page to that sort of credit card approval pre-approval but you can contact them or if you live in, in wisconsin illinois and uh in Minnesota, you can actually go to a branch. So be, just remember, you they do not actually uh, bring you in in terms, of, in terms of membership based on your geography. However, if you want to get a credit card and you want to ask questions related to the credit card application, if you cannot call or if you can't really uh, talk to someone on the phone, you might have to actually go to a branch. So always check for pre-approval, maybe uh, in the geography where you are currently at, you could qualify for a Connexus credit card approval. So this is, this is really good. You know, I like that a lot because it, it really instills, I would say, a confidence into the whole uh, equation. And so what I did was I realized that if they actually, uh, if they denied my uh, credit card, that, like if they deny my my pre-approval application uh i would say uh offer so to speak i, I needed to be ready to lose five points or, or 10 points on my FICO score so my FICO score is, is already high okay but the thing is i was like okay what if something happens now and uh they actually check my credit i will lose 10 points and i don't want to be in in prime or i don't want to be in subprime territory or average credit territory. I wanted to keep my good, my excellent credit uh, credit uh, history or credit report or credit score, right? So the thing is that I really prepared myself mentally, mentally that my credit score will be actually uh, impacted. And one thing I also did was even before they actually ran through the whole application, I determined already a repayment strategy because see, the thing is that I have a lot of expenses. You know, I have a, I have a family to uh, to to uh, to cater to. I have a business. I have a lot of stuff that happens, and I was like, listen, if this is going to happen that way, I need to be I need to be prepared. I need to determine a repayment strategy. So what I did was, I actually went to my good old Excel spreadsheet. You know, like every day, like now everybody has like all those apps, whatever was on uh, on mobile. I'm like, you know, I'm just going the the good old good old. Good old way, you know, I'm an old guy anyway. I'm an not old guy. I'm an old school guy. Well, I'm kind of old too. I mean, you know, you can say that, but I'm an old school guy and, and I'm an old guy too. I, you know, I, I dig it, you know, but, and the thing is that I love things that the way you do things the old way. So I actually plugged in numbers and I plugged numbers in Excel. I estimated my monthly payments. If I were to charge stuff on my Connexus credit card, 
I was thinking, okay, here is how much I would have to pay. I actually also planned an auto pay option. In other words, I, I already had my checking account from, from uh, Connexus and I said, okay, I'm going to really plan so that stuff is happening. And absolutely, I wanted to avoid a late payment because I know a late payment is really bad for my relationship vis-a-vis -vis Connexus, but also my uh, credit history in general, right? So I wanted to avoid that. So that's why the auto pay option was really critical for me. And uh, so, and as I was actually, it took me about one month to actually plan everything and uh, collect an intel here and there. And uh, so I just knew that at, at some point when I was getting ready to apply for this Connections credit card, if I did not get approval for the prequel, I would need to have things like my full name, my date of birth, my address, my social security number, and my annual income, right? And I was like, okay, what can I do to improve my chances of approval? Because... The, the thing I'm, I'm really thinking about is that what if Connexus wanted to have, you know, access to my uh, employment history, for example, or my, uh, my, yeah, my employment history. They wanted to, I said, you know what? That's fine. Because for me, I have nothing to hide. And the thing is that if they want to have a conversation over the phone, I have a conversation, conversation with them over the phone anyway, you know, because at the end of the day, I'm all about transparency. So it's just one of those things. And the thing is, I wanted to throw them a carrot also, so to speak, to say, listen, if things go well, I can actually, I can imagine myself opening a business credit card with you, with, with you guys. So basically sort of incentivizing them to actually approve me for the personal loan, the personal credit card so that I can open a business credit card down the road with them. So, you know, that, that was my game plan though. Okay. And I just like, you know what, you know, so I was like, you know, when I was ready to apply for the credit card at Connexus. What I did was I actually thought about, uh, I, I didn't live in the vicinity of a Connexus uh, branch. So I had to only uh, apply it over the phone because you can apply through uh, the Connexus website. You can apply in person, you can apply over the phone, or you can apply through the through the mail, like regular mail, snail mail, so to speak, USPS mail. And I said to myself, you know, I love human contact. I want to ask questions before I, I apply because I want to improve my chances and my odds of being approved. Like I don't like being rejected. I don't like, you know, when the credit card issuers or lenders, they reject my ass because for me, it's not just about the fact that, you know, they didn't, they didn't really deem me of uh, like, they didn't really think I was a regular, I was a worthy risk for them. It's just the time that I'm wasting all, in all these things because it's a lot of time applying for a credit card. It really is a lot of time. So, you know, you, you really have to think about those things in advance so that you're not wasting time and you are improving your chances of being approved. The thing is that Connexus is like, it's like Chase. I mean, Chase Mini when it comes to credit cards, like they have a lot of credit cards on the personal side, but also on the, on the business side. And one thing I did was I said to myself, you know, if I were to get a Connexus, a credit card today, what, what would that card really be? And I, so I started going through the credit cards that Connexus has. So they have a everyday rewards plus card. It's a card that actually has a, that allows you to earn up to four X unlimited points that it also receive a $150 bonus. So the, the intro APR for you have an intro APR for purchases and balance transfers. That's zero percent for the first six billing cycles. And after that, you have to pay a, you have to pay an APR of uh, 18.49 percent to 29.49 percent based on your credit. So this is kind of cool. I mean, I thought hmm, this is kind of interesting. And then you also have the platinum card. So it's the card that allows you. You have uh, the intro APR for purchases and balance transfers. You're paying a zero percent. You do you have like zero percent if you have the platinum, and this is this is just fantastic. You have zero percent for the first for the first eighteen billion cycles. I was like, whoa! When my, when my wife and I saw this, we were, we were so happy. Like that night, we were just dancing. Like we never went to bed to bed really because we were like, oh, this is a great thing, especially because we were looking for a balance transfer, a balance transfer credit card. So this is kind of cool. So 18 months, this is really good. Then we had, then we find, we actually found the mask cash preferred card from uh, 
from Connexus. And this is a card that actually uh, allows you to get more value with up to 5% cash back in two categories of your, of your choice. And the APR for purchases here, 19.49% to 29.49% based on your credit worthiness when you open your account, okay? And uh, so this is kind of cool. And but this card also has an intro APR for balance transfers. That, that That's 12 billion cycles, okay? This is kind of cool. And you have to actually do the balance transfer within one year from account opening. So this is kind of cool. And another card that Connexus has, that's the Travel Rewards Plus card that allows you to earn 4X unlimited points on travel and more. Plus you can receive a $250 bonus. So, the, and the APR for a, for purchases and balance transfer here, you have 19.49% to 29.49% based on your credit worthiness when you open your account. And this is kind of cool. So overall, this is a great offer from, uh, from Connexus. Another card I, I wanted to really dig a little deeper into was the Reserve Re, the Reserve Rewards Plus card. It's a card that is great in terms of uh, giving you uh, premium rewards and benefits, plus the ability to receive a potential $500 okay, bonus. This is kind of cool. And the APR for purchases and balance transfers, you are looking at 19.49% to 29.49% based on your credit. and. Uh, you also have the College Real Rewards card. This card actually was brought to my attention by um, my uh, my little nephew, who actually is uh, currently uh, in uh, Wharton, and he was just telling me about stuff. Like he's like, yeah, you know, I I've gotten this card from Connexus. I have a lot of uh, benefits. I was like, well, okay. So it's a card that actually allows you to earn 1.5 percent points for every dollar you spend on eligible purchases, equal to 1.5 percent cashback and you are working towards uh, building a strong financial future. So I said, you know, this is really good for kids who are in college right now. This is really good. And the, the APR goes from 19.49% to 29.49%. This is good. And you have a 0% intro APR for the first six billing cycles. Another card that I love with the Connexus, that's the Max Cash Secured card. And this is a card that allows you to uh, make improving your credit score even more rewarding with up to 5% uh, cash back in two categories you choose so you do have a control over your life no matter what right so the, the apr for purchases and balance transfer here balance transfers here is 30 percent and uh but the card does allow you to have two percent unlimited cash back on, on uh, let's say one every category of your choice everyday category of your choice you have one percent cash back on all other eligible uh, purchases so you know this is kind of cool and another card that we have that actually uh was uh looking when i was looking to when i was lo i was looking through the catalog of uh connexus credit cards i saw this card i was like well, okay it's called a secured card and this is a card that's great for anyone who wants to improve or establish their credit and this is kind of cool and uh, here you have uh, the apr for purchases and balance transfers you are have you have like uh 28.99 percent and uh so and but this is this card is very easy to get but don't let this sort of uh easiness fool you because the card is easy to get that's true but the card actually will suck the, the financial blood out of you they are charging so much they are charging so 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 much that I'm, I'm just really surprised that they actually uh, they have survived that long in business if they're charging so much but hey listen it is what it is 